Holy crap, guys. And I'm starting it like that for a reason, because we watched this and the worst version of what I just said got said a lot. Uh, so it's on the holy, Justin. Holy. Yeah. On the holy, holy, because Very this holy. right here, uh, this, this this show was an accident. Uh, we're doing a review on a show that last night it was just recommended to me on HBO Max. I hit play just to see what it was. Watched the first few minutes and I was like, oh, crap, dude. Dude, I, I, especially the Ferris, Caleb happened to be in there too. I was like, man, you have got to see the first three minutes. Just watch the first three minutes. Ferris didn't want to at first, but he was like, all right, cool. I'll watch it. Yeah. First three minutes, he watches it, asks me where I'm at on the show. I'm like 10 minutes in. He was like, pause it. I was like, why? He's like, because I want to catch up to you and we're going to watch it together. Because that, man, that first three minutes, like right there, that's kind of like where I want to start. So this show... New brand new show, like as far as uh us here in America, uh, because it is part of HBO Max uh Europe division. Yes. So it's not something that came straight to us yeah, yeah. um and and that kind of thing. So it's came to us later, but it is new for us. And uh one of the things was that that very moment, because that's what grabbed me and made me start trying to watch more of the episode, and that same thing with Ferris and stuff. So, like very open and seen is this dude walking. And I'm like, okay, whatever, just a guy walking. But then I saw the look on the guy's face is what made me keep watching. Because I was like, this dude's serious. Like, I don't know what he's about to do, but he's serious, right? So he walks over to this bank, uh, and he just blasts two fools. Start shooting fools people, out gun, bro. Yeah. Starts shooting people out of nowhere, right? Mm -hmm. And he goes through there. He, he starts getting shot. And he don't yeah. even care. He just, he just keeps walking. Like, he, it don't even matter. And I'm like, what the hell is this guy, right? So he goes through there. And I'm, I'm going to let these guys talk a little bit on it as well. But so he goes through there and he gets this coin and he grabs the coin. There's like bunches of money in this safety deposit box. He doesn't even uh -huh. want it. He just grabs this coin, gets it, and 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 gets out of there and gets into a limo with, with a priest. And the, the priest just... After this dude's been shot 10 to 15 times, the priest just rips off the necklace and he dies instantly. He's alive up until that point and he dies instantly. And then the priest grabs a coin and that's the cold open basically at, at, in a nutshell. Uh, but what did you guys think, man? Cause I was just flabbergasted. I was like, Oh God, I got to see what this show is about after that. Yeah, man. When I was, when I was watching, right. It's like, it was, it, it was recommended by you, Justin. So I was like, Man, what, man, what 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 stupid shit is he gonna make me watch right now? This dumb, this dumb crap. All right, let me watch this, man. All right, man. So opening scene is this dude walks. He's walking. I was like, oh, okay, it's, he's walking. Like I see the gun in his hand. Like okay, so he has a gun. So I'm like, oh shit, he's gonna rob this bank. Are oh, you gonna rob it? Okay. So he shoots the first security guard, then shoots the second security guard. And I was like, oh shit, he's just killing people. So he's probably like a serial killer, a psychopath. Like you know, he's gonna. He's gonna shoot up the place, you know, like 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 a school shooter. Like let's shoot this, and then I'm like, oh shit! And then like the security guard shoot him twice in the chest. I was like, oh, there's that's the end of him. Then he just keeps standing, and I'm like, oh, what is he a zombie? What is this? Is this 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 isn't like a is this a zombie movie? Like a zombie TV show? Let's let's also point this out. The first episode was an hour and a half. That's a movie. Yeah. Okay. A that's a movie. movie. It's it's a full on movie to be honest. It's not even a TV show. It's like it's like it's like little movies basically and he shoots the other security guard and he shoots the other security guard and just like you said Justin he blows up the safety deposit box and you you see money from all over the world you see american money you see spanish money you see english money you see you see all of that stuff right and he just like takes it out and then he just gets this little coin and i'm like what's this little coin about like this this coin this you you killing people over this coin so i'm like this has to be like mm -hmm. a special coin that's like yeah. worth 10 millions and millions of dollars, right? And then later on during the, the during the theme, we find out what that coin is. We'll, we'll talk right. about it later. So then he like you know what's funny about it is um he he shoots them right and then he's waiting for the elevator, Justin, and a lady walks out the elevator and she <laughs> sees them all bloody and she just looks he doesn't at even like care. This. Yeah, she he doesn't he, even he care. He just, just let yeah, her he, 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 he just lets he, her walk. Sure did, man. Like, man. dude, I was yeah. like, oh, man, this is hardcore. Uh, yeah, like, so I, literally thought, I literally thought he was going to shoot the woman. Like, he's going to shoot the woman, right? But he didn't. He was like, I don't really care about you. So he only shot the security guards mm -hmm. at the beginning. 
but late because later on he comes back down and all the security guards are there and they're shooting him and he doesn't shoot back he just walks past them no they they point they pointed at him they're pointing at him. They, they they see that he, he's not doing shit but uh then the, i think it was one of the security guards that that, that try to shoot him shoot at him no 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 the no. the whole group standing there and they actually shoot him some more Oh, yeah, they, shoot, yeah. They, they they light him up and know that they're like they looking at him and he's not even trying to shoot them. He does what Ferris says. He just walks and they kind of just him. like, yeah, he just they just kind of move and let him go because they're like, what they're the hell? I just shot this guy in like 10 times. And yeah. but you are right, Caleb. This one dumb. Yeah, the, the one guy. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> this, this one guy's a dumb the one guy. That's the only guy he shoots is the, is the one guy. Yeah, while he's leaving, the only guy he shoots is some dumbass that was like behind it. That's that tries to come out and surprise him. Did you not see your whole team blast this fool up with like just riddling with bullets? And you're gonna try to go out there and shoot him, and he gets blasted like right yeah. then. It's probably like that dude's last bullet, to be honest. It's like he just probably. takes him out. But that was crazy, man. Like, yeah. do you have anything to add, Caleb, or any thoughts like just watching that first three minutes? That yeah, when you, when you said just watch the first three minutes, I um, I was going to like, all right, why not? So yeah, I thought thought he was a zombie too. I didn't know what's going on because he just can not shoot me. And I'm like, why, why, why ain't this dude dying? And he just keeps walking through. Okay, he's just trying to rob the bank, but not really. He just gets coin. So yeah. I mean, yeah. I that, mean that, money that, all around him. Money all around him. He could have yeah. got anything he wanted, and it was just this coin that he got. And then Ferris is right. We don't understand because it kind of goes black. And then we start seeing the, the intro for the show. Uh-huh. And you start yeah. seeing uh, images of Jesus and stuff like that. And where Judas actually got the 30 coins, the 30 silver pieces uh, to basically rat Jesus out. And you see the Ju- Judas hung- hangs himself and everything else. So he obviously drops the money and a bunch of people just randomly grab at the coins and picks them up. So what I'm getting from that, this is what I think is that these coins have been spread around the world, passed yeah. down generation through generation through generation. They have some kind of symbolism, some kind of power to them. And there's this one group of people that's possibly trying to collect all 30 of them. Yes. But y'all go off of that. Yeah. What do y'all think? Y'all think the same thing or? Yeah, the yeah dude, the dude, because yeah. we didn't see the dude in the car for like the rest of the episode. Mm-hmm. That, 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 that was controlling the other dude that goes in the bank. So we, we still don't know what's going on with him. And obviously he looks like he's trying to collect all the coins. Yeah, because I've, I've, because like, like, like the, there, I think the story is like, like thirty coins is supposed to unlock some ultimate, ultimate power. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like this, like so, like, so you know, and you know, you know, like stories from the Bible or the Quran or the or the Torah, they make they make excellent story pieces to expand on in in uh in media because all those stories have those those stories have been made into movies constantly since movies have been created you know so you know so the first stories that were made were like you know like like the like the like you know like there, what's that what's that jesus movie with uh well, yeah. <clears throat> well if you're talking uh, about the one mel gibson did like passion of the christ but uh, you also have the ten commandments and stuff like yeah, that yeah the ten commandments the greatest, the greatest story ever told right, right. yeah the greatest and, story ever told noah's ark like those movies have so like this tv show is T- taking a story about Judas and his coins and making it into a TV show, and that's cool because you know you it's a good it's a it's it's elements of you know we're gonna find out elements of horror action, uh, thriller, mm. uh, some type of comedy but not a lot of comedy, but you know it's, 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 I I don't really like it's not I don't like them it's like I don't usually watch like horror thriller stuff mm-hmm. you know but this was. Uh, yeah. Thank goodness I this thank goodness I listened to Justin th- today yeah. or yesterday for the but, first time. Because yeah. I'm gonna say this: you go into that cold open, and usually when a show starts off like that, mm-hmm. I was totally expecting for be to be a lot more of a calm episode, you know, for the rest of it, right? Like more yeah, yeah. of a just true yeah. down the home story. But they they sink their, their teeth into you with that first little few minutes with their cold open, and but no, this show. Don't stop, at least in this first episode, because we see the cold open. We see what this story is basically about with the intro. Justin, let's stop calling it an episode, man. This is a movie. (laughs) This is a movie, man. I agree. It's an hour and 20, hour and 30 minutes long. So, yeah, we talked about that last night. And the crazy part was, is like, we 
I was only going to watch it for like 30 minutes and we were going to finish it another night, mm -hmm. but I couldn't put, I couldn't hit pause. We couldn't stop. It, we keep, couldn't it keeps getting it. weirder. Like you think the first, the first part is like, Oh, what the hell's going on? The very next like, scene. What the hell's going on? Dude, the very next scene is what I was getting to. And that is a damn cow. We're, we're seeing birth to a cow. So I'm like, this is the normal story, right? I'm like, this is She's a, a small town, small yeah. town in Europe somewhere, you know, they're sitting there and they're, same, she's same a vet like they're, they're She's uh, delivering a cow. That's just going to be part of the thing. We're going to learn about some characters. No, they're delivering this supposed to be cow baby. And it's a damn human baby <laughs> comes out of a cow. It comes a out of a cow. Baby. Like, and, and yeah, it does look weird because of all the like blood and gore <laughs> and everything else. Dude, but Justin, my God. Justin, did you, do you remember when the baby comes out? They have to like, like rips like some skin off of it. You, like, you, you remember that? Bro, dude, like, that, yeah. was, I'm going to give these people props. I'm look, I'm not a person that usually just jumps in. If I hear a movie super good that is foreign, something that I have to read on screen, you know, because obviously it's not in my language and I have to read the subtitles to understand yeah. what's going on. It takes a couple of people to like get me to be like, yo, like you need to watch this because it's really good. And I'll watch it because I don't have anything about or against those style movies. It's just something I doesn't, I don't gravitate to automatically. But if this is some of the gold, like, I mean, look, I love this stuff kind of stuff. If this is the things that can be out there that I'm missing out on because I'm not trying to watch some of these movies that are or shows that are made overseas, I have got to start watching more of them. Because hey, Justin, yeah, look, hey, Justin, uh, Caleb, y'all remember when, when when the baby's already been born, the baby's in the blanket, and like yeah. we need to go see the priest, Don Don Manuel. Yeah, yeah, this scene, and they open the door, and Don Manuel's like, "Whose baby's that?" And then there's like someone in the back says. Satan's <laughs> yeah, that was somebody crazy. literally in the back of the group of people says <laughs> Satan's Thanks. because this baby came out of a cow. Now they so they go get that preacher <clears throat> and they oh, go take knew. him and you show him the knew. video. Yeah, they go and take him and show him the video, and he's like, nah. And I and, and somebody Ferris switched up it. last night. Yeah. I'll actually let Ferris talk on this. One of the things that Ferris liked about the show, go ahead and tell him, and, and it was something I didn't notice until Ferris brought it up. But that was bringing the real life like stuff and actually saying it. Oh yeah, you know yeah, yeah. so like, yeah. so yeah, like yeah, they were like bringing up like, don't uh, don't put it on Facebook, don't put it on WhatsApp, don't put it on Instagram, don't don't put it on that. Like they were using like real like terminologies. Like it's like, oh, I had to look this up on Wikipedia. Like films don't do that. You know yeah, what in I mean? most like, cases, many, yeah. Yeah, like how many times have have people said in their life like, oh, man, I don't know, check Wikipedia, homie, check it. Like, yeah. hey, man, hey, man, I was on the WhatsApp with, with my with my foreign, with my family from overseas. Oh, like, hey, don't put this on Facebook. Or like, hey, get off Instagram. Like, stop doing that. Like, like don't put, like, we got to keep this hush. Like, they were using, like, 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 it felt real. Like, mm -hmm. like it just felt real, you know, because they're like, because they were like, oh, how did you, like, when people, like, they, when in movies, they'd be like, oh, yes, uh, this blah, 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 blah. Where did you find this out? I found it out from a book. Like, no, you didn't. You looked it up. You looked it up on the internet, bro. Like, come on. Yeah. Like, oh, I read this book. No, you didn't. You read no, this but book. like, well, it just felt thing, real. Paris, it just felt it, real. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. My, my thing, Paris, is, is a lot of shows and stuff like that will use different terminology. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. It won't be Facebook. It'll be face something else or you know whatever. <clears throat> so that was something to me that was kind of when you when you pointed it out, I didn't notice it until you pointed it out. But they do go and see this preacher. And then he goes and looks at the video and he kind of debunks it, right? He says, but before, like, this before, spot. Before that, you, you see him working out. And oh, yeah, no, no. Yeah, yeah this the, dude's not just this dude is jacked. He's a jacked yeah. preacher. And I, this I said dude, during that, I was like, this dude is ready to fight the devil. Bro, he, he you, you see from, <laughs> well, look, this guy, straight up 100%, he comes in there and he does the thing. And he's, like, like Caleb just said, He's like punching a punching bag, man. He's not just sitting around and he smokes cigarettes and everything else. Mm -hmm. But he comes out and basically tries to debunk the video. Says like he points out a spot where this is where someone made a switch. They grabbed the cow and switched it with a baby at this last second kind of deal. Like, so this is what happened. So he's telling people that uh, this is probably where this happens. So they basically turns the show into trying to find who left the baby. Like who did the mm -hmm. switch out, right? Who whose baby is this truly is like, right. And mm -hmm. now we'll say something about the preacher. We find out during the show is like this preacher though, is a preacher that does like exorcisms, 
like he used to do exorcisms and one of his last if not his last exorcism uh the kid that he was trying to save dies but right before he dies uh, uh this coin the coin that looks exactly like the one we saw in the cold open comes out of his skin like literally just comes out of his skin and the preacher uh grabs it and then the, the boy dies and that's why he's kind of in trouble and he's been made to go to this small town basically to to be the preacher of their small right. church so man do y'all have anything to expound upon around that area uh, yeah so like it gets to the point where like they they go to a farm mm -hmm. and like they're like hey is this your baby and and they're like no she it's not her baby and then like the daughter becomes pregnant instantaneously well, I think and, she's already pregnant. And she no, was yeah, no, nobody. That is the one thing that like you could easily misconstrued. She didn't become pregnant instantly. Yeah. She had been she hiding tell, it the whole had, time. Yeah, she was hiding it from her father. That's why the father got like, oh, you're trying to when, tell me my I don't know but my daughter's pregnant. They lift up her shirt or dress or whatever, and you see the wrappings around her belly to where that she was trying to make it to where she didn't look as big as what she actually was. Mm -hmm. That's actually something old school back in the old days when someone was pregnant, but they didn't want people to know they would do stuff like that to try to hide it. And that's right. what she was trying to do. So like she had been pregnant this whole time and uh, with, you know, and what have you. So it wasn't some freak thing. It was, she had just been hiding yeah. it all the time. Cause her water broke. Her water, yeah, her yeah. water broke. Yeah. Yeah. And then she started, but yeah, then it gets to the point where like they start throwing this theory, like it's the priest. He's trying to like go back to the main church. So he created this like weird thing to solve. So then he, he then he can be called back. So I was like, oh, it could be the pre the, the the priest. And then we find out no, it's not the priest because some more crazy stuff happens, man. It's just like I, so, I well, I'm throwing yeah. up the picture again because on the right hand side over here, you see that guy. He looks like a damn zombie right there. Like he <laughs> like there's this really weird, like you would say, teenage, maybe early 20s. Like something happened to his parents and stuff, and the town had been kind of keeping up with him. So he was kind of like the town dumb. They called him the yeah. They called him the village yeah, idiot. The, yeah, the, yeah, the village, village idiot, idiot and or town idiot. Like so, he, so he's crazy. Like he's not supposed to be able to read or anything. Well, you start finding out that this kid might actually be smarter, or maybe he's able to see things that some people aren't because he, uh, as you later a little bit later on into the show, he kidnaps the baby that was born from the cow. And he goes to the top of the uh, church and he's holding the baby over the edge, like to drop it, to kill it. And mm -hmm. people obviously are standing outside. They're not wanting it to happen. Nobody wants to see a baby die. The baby's still, you know, like a normal baby doesn't do anything any different than any normal baby you've ever seen. So of course, nobody's wanting this baby to die. So like the preacher and everybody else starts running up. Some of the people that's part of the police force go up to the top uh he's standing there and everything else and they're trying to talk to him he starts speaking in latin and the kid ain't even supposed to be able to read and he's speaking in latin and stuff and he kind of starts holding the baby out well then the vet comes up there because the vet had helped him at some point with like an animal or something that he loved and was pointed out the fact like look at that baby you really don't want to kill the baby and he kind of looks and stuff like that and then he lets her get the baby but you know what maybe people in this town should have listened to the village yeah. this one time. Like, because because he ends up saying, uh, I don't know what he says, but he says, this one's for you. If you can't, like, then he jumps off the building yeah. and mm -hmm. crashes into the, like, that into car. the car. Like, yeah. yeah, so he basically, like, said, he basically tried to sacrifice himself for the village because he knew what was going on and no one yeah. believed him. You know? Like he he even yeah. knew what the priest was like. He knew that the priest goes around and you know does yeah, these exorcism and, and he's he's like a real legit priest fighting these demons. He knew that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the and priest uh, visits him in in a uh, in a uh, in, mm -hmm. in the hospital, and he tell he outs the priest to his face like, "I know what you are. I know what you are." Then he like yeah. starts singing to him. It's highly creepy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he called yeah. him the, the captain of, of Heaven's Army or God's Army or something like that. Yeah, so so this priest, but knowns to us, like we don't know. Like, is is the crazy guy still truly kind of crazy? Like, is he speaking the truth? It seems like he might be, like Caleb said, calls him like the the captain or general or something like that of like God's army, basically. 
And right after that, the camera kind of pans away and it's pretty much, you know, insinuated that the priest kills him at that moment. Like maybe by suffocation or something, mm-hmm. because you don't see him the rest of the show and he's in bad shape. And this kid knows who he is, knows what he is. And it's like he's being controlled as well, like by some outside force a little bit. Right. Like almost like he's sort of possessed or something like that. So which is just kind of crazy because you don't really see a whole lot or lead into it or it doesn't make it look like he may be possessed. But all of a sudden he can speak Latin. All of a sudden he knows what this priest is and everything else. So it's pretty crazy. Uh, And, you know, so Justin, don't forget, you know, um, what about the, the secret compartment in the church? He knew yeah. about that because of the yeah. previous priest, because he worked with the previous priest, you know. Sure so like did. He, he, so he basically gave, uh, and he was he was like spying on the on the other priest, like the new priest, mm-hmm. spying on him. And he found out that the the, uh, the new priest had a bu- had like a bunch of crates full of guns, and firepower and ammunition. So you know, so he's like he's he you know he's like, he's that person who knows everybody's business because he's just there all the and time. And nobody pays attention to him. And no even one pays if- attention to him. But he's like that dude that like if you if he saw you doing something, you may still would do it. Like say if you were doing something kind of weird or or, or bad or wrong mm-hmm. and he came up, you probably still wouldn't stop because you would yeah, assume, yeah. well, this idiot doesn't know what the hell I'm doing. He mm-hmm. can't really go tell nobody. And even if he does tell somebody, everybody's going to be like, well, he's a village idiot. So like, yeah. So he's like the perfect kind of spy because he's going around. He sees things and people are more open to do stuff around him. Uh, now, there's a bunch of stuff going on in this episode. Like I said, it's really long and we talked about most of the first parts. So like Ferris had said earlier, they first start trying to find like who dropped this kid off. Then they started thinking the priest is possibly doing some stuff here uh, because of the fact that like maybe he's setting something up so that he can go back to the uh, the you know the church and be like, hey. I just like save this little small community from something weird. Like, so maybe I get in the good graces of the church and that's what you're kind of thinking. Uh, but the two main characters, so you have the vet and then you have what is the mayor of this small town. And they're like the two main characters. They're the yeah, two Paco, people trying Paco to, and, yeah, and they're the two characters that are trying to figure out what's going on. And they, so they progress through the story a little bit. Now, as this story progresses, uh, Paco has a wife. And she's thinking that he's possibly going out and doing things like as a, in a cheating faction. So when really, he's just really, yeah, yeah, really, he's helping this girl try to solve this mystery, right? Uh, mm-hmm. And I thought that was a even a, a good like addition to the show because uh, you have all this crazy stuff happening, but then there's also some real life things happening. Like it does seem like someone or or, or, or a wife would think that. You know, she he's she's been cheated on because he's hanging out with this girl and this girl is like a pretty girl. So I just kind of like that part of, of the story as well. What did you think, Ferris and Caleb? I can help you go, bro. Well, um, what? Caleb's yeah. little Caleb's I'll having do, technical I'll difficulties. You go it. ahead and answer, yeah. Ferris. Yeah, so yeah, it has a layer of uh, a sex, uh, like a layer of real, or like a real world. You know, because you know, because he he was, he was he's he's mayor, and he's opening up a new factory, right? Mm-hmm. A new like meat factory, and so he he needs people to be on his side, and it's it's a new factory, and it's it's just getting up and running, and the wife is mad that he's like, how about you run your new factory that you've created? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like. Like let's like like what are you doing? And she like he thinks she he she thinks she he's like side jobbing her, you know like hey I'm, I'm cheating on her and like he like sneaks out at the middle of the night because you know Elena throws the rocks at the window and she like like he, he like she told him like you have to do this you have to do this so and then like she wakes up like like I didn't really care for it like I really didn't care because like like he didn't have to do it the way he had to do it. He could have been like, I'm just helping this woman out. Like, I'm helping the veterinarian out. Like, that's what I'm doing. And right. she could have been like, okay, cool, whatever. But you know, but you know how the, you know how these people be, they have to like add like a like a love triangle or some love, like a love situation or something like that. So I was yeah. like, I'm also I was fine with it, but I don't really, I don't really care about it. I didn't really care about it. Because at the end, it stops mattering. Like mm-hmm. when they get a to the bit. end. Yeah, yeah. When we when we get to the end, yeah. The 
so as this progresses and everything else, so this Paco guy, the mayor of this town, is having to kind of sneak mm-hmm. around. People's kind of noticing that maybe, uh, maybe him and this other girl are doing stuff, right? There's a part where he uh, goes inside uh, the girls that he's helping his house, and uh, she's like, uh, hey, I guess you can hang out for a second. They tell a little bit of a story about how her husband that she had not long ago just leaves and never comes back and, and that kind of deal. Mm-hmm. Well, there's people just randomly standing outside, like watching because he's a mayor of this small town. It reminds me of like a small town. Like I don't really live in a small town in Alabama, but there's a bunch of small towns in Alabama. But it reminds me of those kind of things to where everybody knows where everybody's at because like there's not a lot of places to hide. And they were just out there chilling like, oh, man, it's the mayor. What is he possibly doing and everything else? So we have that. But then uh, our the lady protagonist goes to meet the lady that got the baby, right? She the goes old, there, the old, the old lady who the, like, so the cow has this baby, human baby. They don't know where to, 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 where to put the baby. So they let the people that own the farm, like hold on to the baby or whatnot uh, for the time being until they can figure out maybe like where this baby came from and everything else. Mm-hmm. So she goes to like check on this baby, right, that was born out of a cow, or at least there's a possibility it was. They tried to debunk it, but they really haven't debunked it fully yet. Well, she goes there and just to see what's going on, and she talks to the lady, and she goes into the baby's room. She shows her the baby's room, and it's like, oh, because this baby, look. It's already walking. it's already yeah. walking and, and it's it really looks, big. Oh my God. It yeah. looks like the human spawn of Satan. Yes. I, I, yeah. Oh my God, dude. Like this baby, like it's red. It's got red veins really kind of pouring through it. It's just this very pasty. Oh yeah. Very pasty, yeah. but it's like walking like a man would like, it's not like wobbling or anything. It's like slowly walking and it has around the crib. This demonic cry. Oh like, yeah. yeah. We we find out that uh that um that the the, the 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 older the older people's uh they they actually had a child. And unfortunately that child like ran out the house and ran into the pool and drowned and died. Mm-hmm. You know? So so this baby the lady thought was a thought this is a blessing from God. Like God wants us to have this baby. But Sweet, sweet pea. It's not. It wasn't God who wanted you to have this baby. No, it wasn't God. No, it's like so. So their baby they had <laughs> fell into the pool and drowned, and yes. so this lady's thinking, "Oh, this is a miracle from God." I don't know yes. what the hell she's thinking, but a miracle from God does not look like that for one, and does. Oh my God, dude! I'm I'm serious. I'm like mind blown when I see yeah, that's, this baby that's, start that's walking. Else God. Dude, that's I different. was I was eating chips and drinking like a Powerade. I almost. When I saw that baby, I almost hurled. That baby oh, man. Was, it's crazy. That baby, yeah. Yo, man, I'll so, say this, man. The makeup department on this show are amazing. Oh, yes. It's, it's, it's good. The, it the stuff with the scene with the cow, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. And, and this scene right here. But that's not even all of it, right? Like, So she thinks that. She goes to leave, and the husband comes down and says, oh, my God. Like, there's something going on here. Like, she's acting yeah. weird. She's not herself, you know. Uh, we there, there's something going on here. The, yeah, and, and so he's like, he's like, that's not a baby, that's a demon, that's the blah blah blah. But he's like, and she's like, this is my baby. I want to let yeah. you get rid of my baby. This is my yeah. baby forever. I will <laughs> thank you. And then, and then, and then she takes the the knitting needle, the ones where you know them old ladies make the, like the oh, them big super the, long ones too. The yeah, big, she shanks her husband four times in the back. And then shanks him again, then kicks him down the steps because she's right. a, a possessed and obsessed with this baby. And she will stop at nothing to keep this baby from being ripped away from her. Yeah, straight up 100%. Like, so uh, the vet, like, she leaves after the, the husband says that. And then, like, Fair says, the husband goes in there to, to like, talk to his wife because something's going on. And then she's like, no, nobody's taking this. And she out of nowhere, dude, like split second decision starts whacking on him, dude, like blood spurting out everywhere. Kick down the stairs. But that ain't even it. That man is hung upside down 
inside the living room, like almost like in a spider web, but it's like knitting. It's like all of her yarn that's and a, stuff that's like holding that's it up, man. Called, called cobweb. Yes, exactly. So, yeah, so like, yeah. nah, bro, it is crazy. But like, so she does that. Homegirl is already freaking out because she's seen this baby. She tries to get Paco to help out and everything else. And she finally gets Paco to do it. So they end up going back. And that's when they see the husband just hanging upside down in a damn cobweb full of yarn. And like, and then another, like, just crap is hitting the fan, right? Like, it's just like, oh my God. Now, I will let Ferris tell, because there's a funny thing that happens here, right? So the girl begs this dude, Paco, to possibly even like end his marriage, you know, because this girl, his wife's obviously thinking he's cheating. So he, but he, he agrees. He goes with her. He doesn't want to, but he does it. They get inside the house. Homegirl comes downstairs, right? Like, oh, no. Nah. And you know, things are like, oh, it's done now. So I, I'm going to stop and let Ferris talk about like what proceeds to happen with our two main characters in this spot. I'm here's this. So, so they, so they break in the house, right? He has like this, like, you know, like that gardening tool that like has that thing. Uh, kind of the like hoe. a digger, the, yeah, not, yeah, a like, yeah, like a hoe, yeah, like a hoe, and he breaks the key <laughs> with the hoe, and he and they're just they're talking to this old lady, like, hey, this isn't okay, uh, you know, the babies, I don't think like there's all that, all that nonsense, and then lady kicks them off the stairs, <laughs> she throws them on the stairs, and they and they tumble and tumble, and they're running away, she then. I, super speed as fast as the flash who grabs Paco stabs him in the shoulder and then drops him again and then and Elena just like she guns did. it she just she guns did. it she just leaves she's like fuck this I'm out I'm done I'm do and then she's driving and the cops and the priest are driving up and then she's like stops he's like she has Paco she has Paco he's like go get him and then like they they go the priest and the cop are run into that house and then she runs back with them and the cop and the priest are there and then this the, the lady right she sees the priest and then she starts talking to the priest like they know each other and that means oh this spirit that's inhabiting this old lady has met this priest which then we get from the flashback with the kid you know the yeah. kid with the coin coming out of his arm so this the priest and the and the spirit know each other and she starts talking to him like yo homie you ain't this ain't the same i'm gonna win this time i'm gonna get you and then like the priest tells the cop to chill out the cop shoots the old lady four times shoots her bang 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 and i'm like what the hell is going on yeah, this was my yeah, first she... Now, I will say, unlike the guy from the cold open, now, after she got shot four or five times, she hits the ground. Yeah. Right? So mm -hmm. you're like, oh, my God. So they killed that. So they killed her. So what's going to happen next? But <clears throat> before we move on, because yeah. this is probably the funniest thing on our watch along, we watched it together, was in that scene, though, <clears throat> where the vet and Paco is in there. And she kicks them both down the stairs. She stabs home dude, kicks him, and then kicks her down the stairs. But they're actually still alive, unlike her husband that she stabbed like yeah, 17 yeah. times. So they get back up, but she's obviously, she just got kicked down the stairs. The vet didn't get hurt, like, well, not super bad. But she gets up, and like Ferris says, she gets out of there. <laughs> and me, Caleb, and Ferris just start laughing at the same time because <laughs> she leaves his ass in there while that lady's standing over him. Like, you... I'm like, oh my God, you begged him to come and you're just going to leave him hanging like right <laughs> yeah. in the middle of the living room exactly. with this crazed ass lady. Like, this, you know, she chopped up her husband. Paco, we just hey, seen man. It. hey, man, Paco could have been laying in bed with his wife, cuddling, yeah. like doing nothing. But now nah, he was like, let me go help Elena, the veterinarian, see what this crazy woman's talking about. And then Elena was like, you know what? I'm out. No, I'm not doing this. I'm about, you know, Paco, if you die, you die. I don't really care. <laughs> So you're expecting at that point the craziness to be possibly over with, right? Yes. Like you're just like, okay, they just shot and kind of maybe killed this lady that's going crazy because some kind of spirit or something, maybe that's coming from this baby that she's watching it has taken her over, but she's stone cold dead there on the floor. Paco's hurt. Obviously he's taking an ambulance. 
the craziness doesn't stop because no, of, it doesn't. Here's the crazy thing. Yeah. They they put her and Paco in the same ambulance. <laughs> I'm like, when does that oh, happen? Why would you do that? <laughs> that would be like watching. I brought this up while we were watching the show. That would be like you you getting you're at Camp Crystal Lake and you're the one survivor. You're the person that survives the whole ordeal. You're the last teenager alive. And they're like, oh, wait, what? You got some injuries. We're taking you to the hospital. They put you in the gurney, tie you up, put you in a gurney in one side of the ambulance. And then all of a sudden you see them bringing Jason, Jason. Voorhees <laughs> into next to you in the ambulance, bro. Like, that's just crazy. So you got this dead woman or what you assume to be dead woman, like right next to the Paco character with his wife in there now. His wife's obviously back there with him in the ambulance. And you have... But right before that, uh, our veterinarian, yeah. Elena, I guess is her name, because I think Ferris has called her that a couple yeah, times. Elena. So, like, she goes running upstairs to see the baby. The priest is already up in the room, and there's nothing in there. The baby's gone. Oh, no. And the priest says, close your mind. Whatever you think you've seen, you haven't seen. He's, he, I think he's just trying to protect her, right? Like, it's just, just let this get out. Yeah, forget, forget about, about this. And homegirl is like, no, I'm not forgetting about it. She reaches down and pulls up just skin, just skin. Like if a snake had like uh, changed its skin, right? Like molded yeah, or whatever. Started. Yeah. And she pulls the skin up and holds it and says, what is this? What mm -hmm. is this? It keeps asking him. <laughs> Finally, he, that's when he's saying like, you just need to forget what you've seen or whatever. What do you, and he even says, what do you think the baby like? shed its skin and became a monster uh maybe maybe because in this damn ambulance ride once we all <laughs> think that all the craziness in the episode's gone in this damn ambulance ride they're riding right so like things are happening homegirl the dead woman raises up like undertaker from wwe just raises up off her gurney turns around looks starts to get the Paco and his uh, girl and says something about he's coming for me. And she kind of backs away. And little do we know there is, look, I'm not lying to you. I've thought of plenty of ways to like describe this thing, but I've got it written down right here that this baby turns into a fucking spider baby and scorpion hybrid. It is a baby, a spider and a goddamn scorpion all wrapped into one. Like all wrapped into one. Like just imagine what that could be. You know what? I actually, here we go. Do you, you see that thing in the background? Do you see that thing in the background? That's what this baby turns into. And <laughs> at, least you didn't, at, least, turn at least you didn't get that photo of that close up like later oh, on. God. Later on oh, yeah. God. oh God. Oh like, God. Oh, the baby's face right in the middle of the mouth and teeth. And it's just the creepiest baby face. You know, mm -hmm. like holy shit, dude! It is like, but like this creature, I, I guess I'm gonna call it a creature now. This creature like tumps over the ambulance and everything else. The the crazy woman that got shot up by the cops that was dead a minute ago just gets up, like runs out the back of the ambulance after it gets through doing all of its flips and shit. Runs out of the ambulance just into the woods, like so. I don't even know what the hell she's doing. <laughs> she just runs out. Paco's still barely hanging in there. His wife, you think, is dead, but we find out that she's still alive because like people are at, helping her out. But his wife's got a bad head injury at this moment, like knock the f out. Paco's laying there. Homegirl, it, it goes off with the priest, pa and they Paco get to actually, the church. Paco actually passes out in the ambulance. Yeah, yeah. So he's passed out, and then the, the lady rises and she talks to Paco's wife, and she Paco, Paco's wife's trying to wake him up, but he's passed out, and he wakes up. To the the car crash, yeah, the ambulance crash, yeah. But like, so all this crap's going on, man. You just saw we just saw this creature that I've never seen before, ever, ever imagined I probably would like tump over this ambulance, like I said, and like so the vet and the preacher go off to the church, and he's showing her like he shows her that secret room. He shows her the secret room. He opens up a door. And that's when we find out home dude is like loaded with guns, loaded. And she was like, well, these guns ain't going to help. Like you saw that they, the guns didn't help any of the other time so far. And he was like, well, they wasn't using the right ammunition. So he pulls out these bullets and stuff. 
and like we find out that he like blesses them like they have to be drop some holy do water anything and drop some of the holy water a little bit later on but dude come on like that everything that's going on is just crazy paco is almost dead he's like one of the lead characters like and you like you say you have them in the church and then this creature well first the mama shows up mm-hmm. and she's slapping like forget superpowers bro she slaps a mug like across the room into a damn wall and it looked like she wasn't even trying that hard like that was crazy man like she hits the the priest with a pew and then she hits the the lady with the pew like she started throwing pews at him yeah like, she's got the force yeah. did like yeah. the telekinetic abilities i can move mm-hmm. it that was across yeah. mm-hmm. dude i was dude at this point, I literally was like, holy shit, what the hell is going on? I have no idea what the hell is going on right now. And then he, he tells Elena to like hide, the, the preacher. And she's hiding and all. And he him and him and the him and the him and the possessed leader are like talking, they're having a conversation. And then she's like, Give me what I want. I know you have it. Give it to me. And he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. He's like, You know what I'm talking about. I, I know what happened to that kid, that kid who died. He wasn't from a heart attack. It was because he was possessed. And I know you have the coin. Give it to me. Yep. And, and well, he says, he, dude, he says this. Yeah. Like, this is the scene where he says this. Like, he sh- he's like, she was like, um, like the possessed lady then make makes the real lady start talking. And then the real lady's like, please give them what they want. I don't want to die. And then the priest is like, no, I have to. And he unleashes a clip of bullets into her chest. Yeah. Oh, like, bang, 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 bang. And he drops and she drops. And like now, he carries. Yeah. There was one part, though, that I kind of started questioning afterwards. It's like, does he have some kind of almost superpower capability as well? Because there is a part right before he shoots her that right before he walks over to the holy water to bless the bullets, he grabs her at one point and throws her. And I'm talking about just like when she slapped him earlier and he flew into that wall, he grabs her at one point and chunks her. And it's not, oh, she went five feet. Maybe that's believable. She flew in the air and hit the wall herself whenever he did that. So I'm like, oh man, maybe he has some kind of super strength. And I guess we'll be able to see as the show goes on, like how much he can do really. But he does bless those bullets. He opens up that clip, like Ferris says. She now hits the floor, stone cold dead, hopefully this time. But that ain't even it, man. Like, so he grabs her and starts walking off to put her somewhere. And, and Elena's still gone, hiding. Yeah. Elena's hiding in a, in a closet, right? Yeah, and, well, and, in a confessional booth. In, yeah, in yeah. a confessional booth. And like the this spider dude. scorpion baby creature <laughs> makes its way <laughs> makes its way into the church. Bring up that image again, Justin. Bring that image again. See, like this is the image after because because Elena she found the box where the coin is, right? She mm-hmm. took the coin out and she put it in her pocket. So yep. the, the the scorpion spider baby or <laughs> he, the human scorpion spider baby whatever the, whatever that thing is whatever the, the disturbing creature. the creature senses it senses it and starts attacking the confessional and starts breaking it and breaking it and elena's screaming like ah! <laughs> bang, 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 bang 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 like and like and like and like it's just missing your head it's it's like ah Bang 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 and he's like missing her head by like inches away and then she she like sees something like like uh, I think she because she calls Paco she calls Paco yeah. right and Paco's on the phone with her and he's like it's just like how do I do this Paco help me please blah 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 and he's like get the charm get the charm and she looks at it and she sees the charm on the ground oh by the way this charm I wish I had a picture of it but I couldn't find one Dude, this it's, charm it's was like a torn up baby, like small baby doll, like its mm-hmm. arms and heads. But instead of having the body and everything connecting it, it was just like weird wire contraptions yeah, that yeah, was yeah. connecting like feet 
to the head, mm-hmm. to the So she arms. dives for it, Justin. Yeah. So she dives for it, right? She grabs it. And then the, the scorpion baby creature attacks her. And she's just ripping it apart, ripping it apart, ripping it apart as he's inches away from her. And, and she's she rips it all apart. And then the baby's over her, right? And, and I'm inches away. Uh, uh, uh. Look, let I, me I tell you. I can't talk about it because I'm a vomit, Justin. That's Bro, like, oh. I'm just telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. This thing, this creature, whatever we want to call it, Ugh. like you've got to see this thing because like you're yeah. never going to see anything like this ever again. When it's over her, look, I'm going to tell you, it's a phallic shape. I'm trying to use big words here. It's a phallic shape, like cylinder, like this coming out that has teeth all around the edges of it. So it's almost like this worm thing with like, Teeth is crunk coming out the edge, and the baby's head when it opens its mouth, you, then that's where you can see the baby's head, kind of like on, in aliens, where like they would uh, the aliens would open their mouth and this little small head would come out. It was almost like that a little bit. Oh man, but like this baby head was right there, mm. like 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 Ferris said, like inches of this hanging over her body. So like this gross thing. Ugh. Yeah, like, like the, the, here's the thing, Justin. It then protrudes out of the yeah of the of whatever that. Ugh. Like 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 and it's crowning. Like, yeah, it's crowning. It's uh, <laughs> uh. and then it zooms in on its face. Just it's, uh, it's, Look, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I, I, look, I was like, I was like, this is nasty. This is <laughs> nasty. <laughs> let, let me tell you something. <laughs> like when when he says protruding, like to give you a little bit better visual of this, a little bit better visual. Uh, you know that one time every now and then when you like, oh yeah, boy, I got to fart, and you kind of maybe step away if you're in public or something like that to to just let it out because you got to. It's kind of there, and you go to, but that what we say down here in the south that turtle starts to poke its head out. <laughs> And you're like, whoa, whoa, you stop immediately. <laughs> you know, then, then you know it means business and you go to the commode. This is exactly the same kind of situation, except it's a baby head coming out of damn Tremors monster almost. Just the head part. They ain't count like the scorpion tail behind it and like spider style legs. Like, man, dude, oh my God. So yeah, she pulls apart that. And I'm thinking, this is my theory, because it, there's not a lot of theories here, because all we know is like the first episode, this is something we don't know a lot of background about. Mm-hmm. We just love the show and wanted to do kind of like a review for it. Be one of the first ones to do it. So like, I like she's the show. Like, Trust me. Yeah, I like she, the show. I, it's just that scene, <laughs> she, dude. She's tearing it apart, and this creature like gets the crap out of there. So my kind of theory is, is that that little thing they had, the contraption that they put together, was like a charm that allowed them. Because in most stories, like demons and stuff can't get on holy ground, which a church would be holy ground. So mm-hmm. like. Maybe this contraption they put together, this charm, you, you know, if you will, because it didn't look like a damn charm. It looked like, I don't know, looked, looked like some crazed ass, like child's toy that never should have been invented kind of thing. Uh, it looked like one of the toys made by that dude that lived next to the people in Toy Story. Yeah. It had the it looked dog. Like the, it looked the like one, one of those toys. With the one yeah, exactly. Kind of like that. Metal arms. Yeah, they look, look like that. She starts ripping it apart. And like, so it gets out of Dodge. That saves her life. Because I'm thinking that charm was allowing them to be on holy ground. And as soon as you started tearing the charm apart, it broke the charm. And now, like, they can't be there. Because immediately, without no reason, no other reason, this, man, I don't know, baby scorpion spider goes into, like, a sewer hole or something like that underneath the church. Mm -hmm. Like, gets out of Dodge immediately. And that part of it ends. And we're just sitting there. It's the priest. The priest finally comes back. I don't know where the hell he's been this whole time, but he finally comes back. He was taking care of the buddy. Yeah, exactly. So, so, and she's like trying to tell him, like, you know, the ugliest creature known to man ever, like, just been attacking me this whole time. And he's kind of like almost telling her, like, no, no, kind of like the same thing he was doing before. Like, hey, don't worry about it. Uh, We, yeah, yeah, just don't worry about it, man. Like, yeah, yeah, because he, yeah, he, 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 Still trying to keep her out of it. He's still trying yeah. to keep everything a secret. He doesn't want anybody to know, really. Mm-hmm. So he's still trying to protect her. So, mm-hmm. so then he's like, you know what? Matter of fact, it seems like this coin 
is driving people crazy. Mm -hmm. So give me the coin. And she asked why, because earlier in the episode, uh, she shows him the coin and he's like, oh, don't worry about that. It's just a piece of metal. And at the end of the show, when he asked that, she says, why? It's just a piece of metal. And she turns around and starts leaving the church. Right. And because he has that there. line, Justin. Remember that line uh, where he says, I had to play in her world to stop her or something mm -hmm. like that, where he tells yeah. the old lady. Because then, she's like, you killed that old lady. And he's like, well, no, I didn't. He comes up with a cover story. No, I didn't. Yeah. I, that were just blanks. Yeah, I he did the holy water trick. Yeah, Trey as her crazy. He, he was trying to say, oh, she wasn't possessed. Yeah, she wasn't insane. possessed. She was just she was crazy. Sick. He was sick. Like, she's all right. I didn't shoot her. Uh, yeah. I actually just uh, shot blanks. And it, because she's crazy, she believed that that holy water would take her out. So, like, in her craziness, she basically pretended like she was dead again or kind of thing. And But we all know that's got to be bull crap. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, and, then, and, then, and then Elena says, oh, is that what you're doing to me? You're trying to play yeah. in my world. Yeah. And you think I'm crazy. But you're not trying to say I'm crazy because you're trying to not, like, get these hands. Mm -hmm. now yeah. so that's pretty much the episode as a whole and like i said man it was balls to the wall non-stop just listen we started saying uh i wasn't going to curse too much but we already said a couple of cuss yeah. words we couldn't help it in describing this thing but we started saying like it was quiet right it, this is how it really went through the episode of the show we were like holy shit holy shit holy shit holy shit what the and then f bomb started getting because we like look bro it got progressively and progressively hey justin, like, justin hey emphasis on the holy yeah yeah and now what i will say is this uh so we had the thing that happened at the very beginning of the show never really came back right like we had that priest uh we had mm -hmm. basically like, this zombie guy in may with a necklace medallion and then it went to this small town and we kind of stayed there throughout this episode so but we do have that piece of information and we have the episode that we have up before us before we watch, because we've only watched the one episode, I think after we're done here, we're going to watch another episode. But like after watching the first episode, I'll, I'll say what I think is going and then we'll go around the horn real quick before we get out of here. Uh, so me, I think obviously the Roman Catholic Church is going to be playing a part of this. We're going to have maybe a pope or at least maybe not the pope himself, but people underneath like cardinals and stuff like mm -hmm. that possibly playing parts and like trying to get these coins for whatever reason like and they might be looking like the good guys but maybe they're technically the bad guys because they're the ones that seems like they're trying to even get these coins and like why are they trying to get these coins maybe they're trying to get them before the demons do so maybe it's been a battle that's been going on for a long time of like the priest and the church trying to keep control of the coins while the demons are trying to get them for themselves and everything else so that kind of thing could play out uh but that's my only real thing that i could see like the show going to is sort of like a battle between like uh maybe the priest and the and the uh the demons trying to control these coins uh but that's all i'm really getting because i mean shit, man everything else is just so crazy uh, oh yeah i'm just i'm with you man there's gonna be a lot of religious undertones and and overtures and, and like we're gonna we're gonna see a lot of religion into his place it, it's gonna be uh the the full essence i believe is gonna be the the battle of good and evil heaven and hell and everything in between. But then I also want to add um, that person we saw in the first scene who pulls the medallion off of the zombie guy. Mm -hmm. he, he was dressed as a, as, a, as a priest, as a minister. That I think there's going to be that. Exactly. I think there's another entity that wants those coins. The demons want the coins for the destruction of Earth. The priests want the coins for the savior of Earth, salvation. And I think there's another entity that wants the coins because they want to control Earth and heaven and hell. Okay. You know what I mean? Right. That's what I think. Because there's a third yeah, entity. So there's always a third entity that 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 it's not for them, it's not about the great and good. Like it's just yeah, a that human bait. It's just human mm -hmm. base. Yeah, yeah. They 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 believe in the he heaven and hell and demons and, and but the they in it for themselves. But they in it for themselves. Yeah. And I mean, you got any? I was gonna say, you got yeah. anything else, Caleb? Like, uh, no, I'm just excited to see see more weird demonic creatures, whatever crazy shit can happen. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know Caleb was like that. We're gonna become even bigger friends now, because, yeah. dude, for real, like this is just 
one of those crazy things that like you just happen to be uh you happen to be at the right place at the right time with the right people man we've enjoyed the crap out of this show uh so anybody out there man uh but well before we get out of here do, do anybody needs to pump up anything or promote anything uh no guys uh you can catch us uh me and Justin every Friday uh, at six o'clock for the Let's Get Ready Talk Shmodan podcast. This is this is the Let's Get Ready Net. Uh, this is one of our shows, our LGR reviews. Uh, none really. You can follow me at at Ferris and Bono on Twitter at Hambone seventy seven over there for Justin US Hambone seventy seven US. That's pretty much it. All right, Caleb, you got anything? Um, NFL Caleb twenty two at all all social media. That's so it. Also, That's what I'm talking wa- about. Short me, uh, Monday. Four o'clock in the highlights. That's that's all. Yeah, with well, the sports show and like man, like I said, dude, we're doing these reviews. It's kind of like a new thing for our channel, and we've got we got a decent amount already out. Like I've done some trailer reactions. We've been doing Wandavision, and this is one of those accidental things. Like I said, that came up and we enjoyed it. We're like, why not? We 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 would be talking like this in Discord about this show if if it was if we didn't do this. So it's like, why not just get on here and talk about it like we would as a group of friends, man? We hope you liked it. Uh, please hit the like and the subscribe, uh, especially to our YouTube channel, man. We're trying to reach that thousand goal at some point, and that'd be awesome to do. Uh, but until then, man, thank you, everybody that supports us, everybody that watches us, uh, every one of you. We appreciate you to the utmost, and thanks for being here. And until next time, see you later.